I suppose uh, the fact that it is a, uh, a new policy uh, means that it's got a lot of new thinking and has, has incorporated new you know, technology and uh, you know, it's been a long time coming. They've been working on this for quite a few years. Um, implementation, it's easy to, uh, OK, here's the policy, uh, now you have to implement it. Um, and the implementation period, what is it, the, over the next 20 years, 15 or 20 years, um, I think they've covered a lot of aspects that's brought it up to date and up to speed with uh, where, where agriculture currently is uh, in terms of uh, requirements, you know, what, uh, what areas to look at, uh, what are, the, uh, uh, what are the, the, the best areas, the most sustainable, viable and you know, productive areas. Um, and also um, it, it looks at uh, other aspects um, such as uh, you know, utilising um, IT, um, it looks at uh, gender equality, you know, uh, sustainability. You know, the whole thing is that we all need to increase uh, production, increase productivity, improve the livelihoods of uh, small older farmers because it's the farmers that are the backbone of the, of the national economy, 85% of uh, all of the people, uh, you know, derive their only source of income, you know, from agriculture. It has a major effect on the uh, GDP. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's a key, you know, to, to the economy. Yet, um, you know, there's, there's something like about 2% of the uh, national budget, um, you know, goes towards agriculture. You know, it's, there's an imbalance, a serious imbalance. <clears throat> because this, this will be the saviour of the country. We cannot rely on, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of foreign investment, you know, and there's a, the financial sector. There's also the tourism sector, but the uh, tourism sector, you know, is, is uh, a bit up and down, a bit, you know, a bit hit and miss. Um, but agriculture is, you know, it's the backbone. backbone. It's, it's a very, very important aspect of the whole thing. So we need to uh, uh, drive it forward. Uh, to a more sustainable, uh, you know, environmentally friendly um, area, you know, whereby people can improve their livelihoods, can increase their living standards. Um, you know, we can stop urban drift. We can encourage uh, more youth back into uh, commercial farming activities. These are the these are the issues that need to be covered. And I think this is the policy that will do it. So all power to it and let's get on with it.